Hello viewers, welcome to Selenium WebDriver videos. In this video, I would like to demonstrate about how to find a web element in a web page. In our test cases, we will we need to interact with many of the controls. As per the test case needs, we will perform different operations on different controls. Right. So basically, to do that, we need first need to identify what control we have to work on right for example uh, we have a google website where i would like to uh, search with some text called selenium web driver right to do that what i need to do is first i need to identify the different control names displayed here right in this web page though we have multiple controls we have one text box couple of buttons and couple of links right so I need to tell Selenium web driver that you have to enter the text in this text field itself right but to do that first what I need to do is I need to find this web element and based on the control in our scenario it is a text box based on that control we will perform the operation so here we can use set text sets and keys or whatever it is right to set a text value so how can we do that with Selenium web driver all right so in selenium we have a method called find element all right as you can see here when i say driver dot find element it will show you the which will accept the input of type by instance all right so find element of by you have to specify by dot there are couple of like you know methods which will comes with this by right so all these are different types of locators these locators we will be discussing in our next videos but as of now uh, to do like you know to identify this control I need to find out the what is what are the properties and corresponding values right how I will get these properties like in order to identify this each of these like you know all these controls will have a different names so I need to find out a name for this control right so how can we do that if you are using a modern like you know updated browser version once you just right click on it you will see something called inspect element okay once you click on inspect element it will list you that like you know what and all the controls and the properties that are associated with this control all right so as you can see this text box have a id property having this value all right which have a name property with value q right like that if you go for if you select this if you just right click and select as you can see this button has a id its value is this and which name is button k like that you can use inspect element or else if you have installed like you know if you have installed firebug add-in right so if you have added that add-on it will come up like this inspect element with firebug okay if you don't want to use all these two options also what you can do is you just need to right click and go to page source uh, because my I would like to enter some text in this text box which is before my Google search because I don't know the name of this I just uh, first find out this Google search and before control is my text box right so for that what I'm doing is I am searching with Google search as you can see here this is the button and before to that this is my okay this is my input input mean text field right so as you can see this is my input control which has an id and which has a name q right so now i got my property uh, i use the name property with which value is q right so to do that what i will do is i say by dot i am using the name locator dot name and what is the value of it it is q right so that is what i have mentioned here as you can see this is what i have mentioned right so what webdriver will do is if webdriver find out 
the government with this property and having this value then it will return you a web element okay web element instance basically so web element is a interface and its instance i am capturing in this variable right so once i find out my web element i will set some text law so here what i want is i want to enter some selenium web driver text for that i am using send keys method all right so let me execute this so that you will get an idea okay i'm just clicking done let's see what going to happen here so first firefox instance will be started here it navigates to google pay sorry 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 i'm some here i need to specify google.com let me re-execute it it's on the firefox instance navigated to google and after that it has entered the selenium web driver right whatever the text i view here it will enter that value into this control right so that is how we use like you know with only find element which cannot identify the object but in combination with by this is a driver dot find element is a method and by dot name is a method right so with combination of these two we can find out a element if web driver unable to find out with this criteria it will throw you an exception right no such element exception will be thrown that is the tester like automation testers responsibility to include try catch block what does it mean is for example say i mistakenly given some value like q111 which doesn't exist in my web page so to demonstrate that let me execute that and show you what what kind of exception it will display so it firefox instance got started navigated to google as you can see here no such element exception is thrown right so we need to make sure that we have to handle these kind of situations by using try try catch blocks all right and i have another point here okay let me demonstrate about this uh, hold on a second so what i would like to explain or demonstrate here is uh, as you can see here in my web page let me show you the source code of it i have a two links where the name is same for both the links but the text contained in for that link is first link and second link when i'm clicking on first click it will go to yahoo page and i'm clicking on second page it will go to google site so how the find element will work is like it will return you the first instance of the web element which meets the criteria all right so as you can see here i am using find element by name cl click me all right so as you can see the page source the click me is there for both the elements right but the find element what it will do is it will return you the first instance of the web element which meets the criteria so in in our scenario it will click on first click and navigates to the yahoo site so let me show you how it how it will execute it so just hold on a second firefox is started navigate it to that url and just click on the first link right because it navigates to yahoo site all right so that is how we use find element in conjunction with by dot whatever the locator name and the corresponding property to identify any control in our web page all right so just to reiterate if web driver identifies with this criteria it will return you a web element if it doesn't finds 
a wavelength with the specified criteria then it will throw you no such element exception so it is automated automation testers responsibility to include try catch block or handle the exception all right so that's all in this video thanks for watching this video please leave your comments about this video thank you